Okay, from the front of the engine, we're going to go right into the uh, steering components. I want to first start with the steering shaft. I want to actually physically grab that steering shaft and give it a little twist. I shouldn't have more than a half inch of play. You can see that I, it's just very little before it starts to catch. I follow that steering shaft right into the steering box. I want to make sure that the steering box is properly attached. I can see all my mounting bolts, nothing loose or hanging. From the steering box, I go right to the, my pitman arm. You see my port pitman arm and I can see my castle nut. Make sure that the cotter pin is in and then I follow that pitman arm right onto the drag, drag link that links me right up to the front uh, axle. I want to check the power steering fluid last of all, spin in the cap, and then I want to check the fluid level, make sure that it's at between the add and full line. And on this one there's a cold and a warm or, or hot level check. Okay, let's inspect the suspension on this side of the vehicle. We can start with the spring hangers, spring mounts, make sure that they're properly attached. I don't see anything loose or hanging. I follow that to the other side, make sure my spring mounts are on that side. I check my springs, make sure there's no cracks or breaks and they're properly aligned. Leads me right into the U-bolts, make sure those are attached to the axle. Then I go to my shock, make sure that the shock is, has the top and bottom mounting bolts. Then go right to the shock itself and look right to the middle here and make sure that there's no oil showing signs of uh, it wearing out. Okay, let's inspect the brake system on this side. We're going to chad the brakes. Remember that C stands for brake chamber or brake can. Make sure that that brake chamber is attached to the bracket. It's not loose or hanging. Follow the H to the hoses. Make sure the hose is properly attached and that I don't see or hear any leaks. And then I'm going to go to A, the adjuster. Slack adjuster attaches to the push rod by this cotter pin. Make sure that it's approximately about a 90 degree angle. If it's out of an adjustment, it'll be way whacked and you'll see it. It's 45 or less and then it really needs to be adjusted. And then I want to go D, the drum lining. Make sure they have at least about a quarter inch a brake pad to properly stop the vehicle. Okay, we go to the tire. I want to check the inside of the tire. Make sure there's no cuts or bulges on the inside of the tire, no cracks or welds on the inside of the rim. This brings me to the top of the tire here where I want to ICD the tire. I is for inflation. Two proper ways to check that and that's to get a tire thumper, make sure you got a good rebound on the tire or to go to the valve stem and make sure, put a tire gauge on there and make sure I have the proper pressure. Usually about 100 pounds but you can check the uh, manufacturer's specifications for that. C is for the condition of the tire and make sure that there's even tread wear and tread uh, uh, depth all the way around. And D is for the tread depth. I want to make sure that I have at least a 430 seconds tread depth on the front tire. I go right into the spiraling uh, check of the, the front of the tire here. I check the sidewall, make sure there's no cuts or bulges on that sidewall. I go right into the rim, make sure there's no cracks or welds on this rim. Then I want to check each lug nut, make sure it's present and tight, which leads me right to the center, to the, to the hub. And I want to pop that cap, if I cannot see the oil on the sight glass, I want to pop that cap and make sure that there's oil in this, this hub. Okay, that completes the engine compartment. Let's close up the hood and we'll move on down the side of the tractor. Spring loaded, so just let it sit, gently sit down under the springs and put the clamps back on. Okay, next we're going to check the mirror, make sure it's secured. All the brackets are holding on to it, nothing's loose or hanging. Okay, check the door, make sure the latch works, it opens the door and I'm checking the rubber seal around and just, it's secure and then I'm going to give it a good shot and make sure it latches properly. I want to check the battery cover. The battery's under here. I want to make sure each one of the wing nuts is tight and that the battery box cover is secure and that the steps are secure to be able to hold me. Stepping up into the cab. Do a scan of the side of the cab here. Make sure that there's no body damage or anything loose or hanging. Come right to the door here on this particular tractor. This is where we keep the fire extinguisher and the triangles. The fire extinguisher, I want to make sure it's properly charged and I want to make sure that I have my three triangles. Make sure the fuel tank's properly attached, not hanging down. I, my, my, good, my hangers are good on both sides. I want to check the cap, make sure that I have a safety chain and that the rubber seal is in place. I want to visually look down in the tank, make sure that the fuel, I have ample fuel for the day's needs. Look to the back of the cab here. All I'm doing is making sure that everything is in place. I don't see anything bulging or broken. Fairings are in good condition. 
my brakes, braces, my light lens caps are all in place. Nothing's loose or hanging. Just gonna check the drive line. Looking up here where it attaches, following it all the way down, make sure it's not cracked or broken or hanging down, all the way back to the U-bolts here where it holds in. Then I wanna come right up to my catwalk, make sure my catwalk's properly attached. Check the suspension. I follow that right, right through here. This is my torsion bar. You can see my mounting bolts and the rest of the suspension following through here in my airbag. Make sure the airbag, that there's no cuts or bulges and I don't hear or see any leaks. My shock is mounted at the top or bottom, secure. And I look at the seam to make sure that there's no leaks, any signs of uh, that shock wearing out. Since I'm right here, I'm gonna go right to my brake can. We're gonna chad the brakes. C is for the brake chamber. Make sure that that uh, brake chamber is properly attached, not loose or hanging. I'm gonna follow the hoses, make sure that they're secured and I don't see or hear any leaks. I'm gonna look to my slack adjuster and it put, attaches to the uh, push rod that goes right into the brake can. Make sure that's about 90 degree angle. I wanna look inside the rim here and check my brake lining. Make sure I have at least a quarter inch of brake pad. I'm gonna follow that right out and check the inside of the tire wall. Make sure there's no cuts or bulges. In the rim, there's no cracks or welds. Come right out here and we're going to ICD the tires. I is for inflation. I want to properly check inflation, make sure that good rebound with a sledgehammer, or I can go around and check the valve stems with an air gauge, make sure I got ample um, air pressure there. I want to check the spacing. And between the two tires, make sure I have even spacing all the way around. I'm going to uh, also go right into the the C, which is the condition of the tire, make sure that the even wear, tread wear all the way around. And then I want to check tread depth. I want at least two thirty seconds tread depth on rear tires. I follow that out and then I do a spiral scan of the tire. I'm going to make sure that the sidewall, there's no cuts or bulges on the sidewall. I go right to the rim, make sure there's no cracks or welds. Go inside and check each lug nut, make sure they're tight, present. This is a sealed hub, so I just would look for any leaks on the seam. Okay, let's move back to the, the back axle of the tractor and we're gonna repeat everything we just did on the front. Let's go right into the suspension. Here's my torsion bar. Rest of my, my suspension followed through here in the spring. Checking the mounting bolts. My airbag, I wanna make sure that there's no cuts or bulges. I don't see or hear any leaks on that. And my shock, I wanna check this mounting bolts top and bottom. Look at the seam, make sure that there's no oil. Nothing to show that that shock's wearing out. I'm here, I'm gonna go right into my brake chambers. We're gonna chad the, the brakes. Let's go C for the brake chamber. Make sure that's not loose or hanging, it's properly mounted and secured. Follow the hoses. Make sure I don't see or hear any leaks. And then go right into my adjuster, which is right here with, attached to the push rod. Make sure that that's about a 90 degree angle. And then I come right inside here and make sure that I have enough drum lining, at least a quarter inch on that brake pad. I'm gonna check the inside of the tire, make sure that there's no cuts or bulges on the inside, there's no cracks or welds on the inside of the rim. Come out, and we're gonna ICD the tires. Let's give it a good whack for inflation. Make sure that the good rebound, I can also check by using a tire gauge on the valve stem. And I wanna check the condition, make sure that there's even tread wear all the way around. And then I wanna go tread depth, make sure I have at least two thirty seconds tread depth on the rear tires. After I've ICD'd the tires, I want to check for spacing in between. Make sure that's an even space all the way around. And then I'm going to spiral check the outside here. Make sure that there's no cracks or bulges or cuts in the tire sidewall. Go right to my rim. Make sure that there's no cracks or welds. And then I want to check, check each lug nut. Make sure it's present and tight. This is a sealed hub, so I'm just looking for any signs of uh, oil or anything leaking coming out of the sides. From the racks, oh, we'll come around to the rear of the vehicle. Just do a quick scan and make sure that both mud flaps are in place. And then I'm just going to check the back of the, uh, the, the vehicle, looking at the tail lights. So what I'm after here is make sure the lens covers are on, I don't have any cracks or breaks, and that uh, there was some type of reverse light. And you can see the white on this lens cover, that represents the reverse lights. Let's go right around after checking the mud flaps. Let's go right back into the uh, suspension of this rear axle. I'm going to follow this around. Here's my torsion bar. Follow the spring all the way around. Make sure everything's mounted. Go right to my shock. Here's my top bolt, my bottom mounting bolt. Check the shock. Make sure it's secure and go right to the seam. Make sure that there's no leaks. I'm going to go right from here into chatting my brakes. C is for the chamber. Make sure it's mounted, not loose. Go right to my hoses. 
make sure that I don't see or hear any leaks. Go to my slack adjuster, which is this, attached to my push rod going right into the back of the, back of the brake can, make sure it's about a 90 degree angle. Come right into my drum lining, make sure I have at least a quarter inch brake pad, properly stop the vehicle. Go check the side wall for any cuts or bulges, the rim for any cracks or welds. Come up here and I want to check the tires, I want to ICD the tires again. Inflation, I want to make sure that I have a good rebound on the thumper, or I can use a tire gauge on the valve stem and make sure that I have uh, proper air pressure. I go to the tread condition, make sure that it's evenly worn all the way uh, on both tires, and then tread depth, that I have at least a 2 30 seconds tread depth on the tires. I check the spacing, make sure it's even all the way around, and then do I spiral check on the outside of the tire. I check to make sure the sidewall, there's no cuts or bulges on the side of the tire. I go right to the rim, make sure there's no cracks or welds. Then I want to check each lug nut, make sure that they're tight and present. And this is a sealed hub, so I don't have, uh, I can't check the hub oil, but I want to look for any signs of leaking oil. Let's move right into the, the front axle and check our suspension again. Go right into the torsion bar, the springs and the mounts. Go right up to my shock, my top and bottom uh, mounting bolt. Make sure the shock's secure. Look at the seam, make sure that there's no leaks. My airbag, make sure that there's no cuts or bulges and I don't see or hear any air leaks. From there, I can go right to my brake can. We're gonna chad those brakes. Let's go brake chamber, make sure it's uh, not loose or hanging, properly mounted. Look at the hoses coming off, make sure that I don't see or hear any air leaks. Looking at the slack adjuster attached to the push rod, make sure it's about a 90 degree angle. Following that in, checking my brake uh, drum lining, make sure I have at least a quarter inch on that brake pad. From here I want to check the inside of the tire, make sure I don't have any cuts or bulges. The inside of the rim, there's no cracks or welds. Come up here, it's time to ICD the tires again. So I check my inflation, good whack, or I can go right down in here and check with the tire gauge onto the valve and make sure that there's at least 100 pounds of pressure or according to manufacturer's specifications. Condition, I want to even tread wear on both tires all the way around. I'm going to go to tread depth, make sure there's at least a 2 30 seconds tread depth on each tire. After ICD in the tire, I want to go to the spiral check the, uh, the front of the tire, check the sidewall, make sure that there's no cuts or bulges on that sidewall. Go right into the rim, make sure there's no cracks or welds. Check the lug nuts, and make sure each one is present and tight. And come back to the hub. This is a sealed hub, so I just want to look for any evidence of oil leaking out. And then I'm back up to the quarter panel. And then I can work my way here. This is a, a generator for uh, shutting off the engine and running this generator, keeping the cab warm. I'm going to go to my fuel tank. I'm looking down, make sure it's properly attached. The both straps holding it on are secured. I want to check the fuel cap. Make sure I got a safety chain and a rubber seal and a cap. I want to visually check the fuel, make sure it matches the fuel gauge on the dash. I look down the side of the tractor, make sure that everything's closed, attached. I don't see any uh, brakes or anything uh, broken. Make sure my doors all close and latch. I come up to my exhaust, make sure it's secure. I'm scanning it for any leaks, looking for at all my seams for any carbon deposits or soot buildup. Come to the door, I want to make sure that my door latch opens. The door opens, it's secured on its hinges. Good rubber seal, and it closes securely. Checking my mirror, make sure it's securely attached. Follow that down to the, the work box, make sure my steps are properly secured. Um, and then I'm back to the front of the cab, and we've already uh, checked this front axle. So this would be a tractor, complete tractor inspection.